Hello again, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District. I'm here at the Davidson Interpretive Center um, in Clark County. It's one of our parks. I love this building, so I thought I'd use it in the background. So um, today, we're talking about the emerging of the 17 year cicada. Yeah, they're coming to a town near you, maybe your backyard. So we hear cicadas every year, and those are usually the big ones that emerge every year. They have a shorter, much shorter life cycle. But these periodical cicadas, which are also called locusts, they aren't really locusts, those are grasshoppers, but people tend to call them locusts. They stay in the ground, they have the longest life cycle of any insect, they stay in the ground for 17 years. So 17 year life cycle and they will be emerging in Ohio soon. So let's talk about the cicadas for a minute. Most people know them for the songs. Um, you've heard them, right? So you go outside on a summer night sometimes and you'll hear the songs or during the day sometimes. And I love it, it's a cacophony of sound. And those are usually the males, most males call for the females. He's like, hey baby, what's up? She's like, oh, I like your sound, right? So then, they mate and have young, right? So um, the males create this sound by flexing something called timbles, their drum-like organs found in their abdomen. Their abdomen is pretty hollow, I guess, so that's how they make their sound. Sometimes it's also by vibrating the airwaves outside, you know, around them. So that's how they make the sound. So the cicadas that we're gonna see are a lot smaller. Now this is similar to what we're going to see here soon. Okay, he's sitting, on, it's a little statue of one. So the ones we see every year are pretty big, but these are a lot smaller, okay? Smaller, but they come in larger numbers, right? So when that ground starts to heat up to like 65 degrees and the surface temperature heats up, so for, for Ohio, it's gonna be probably towards the end of May that they're gonna start coming out. So this is what you're gonna see. And I'm a little windy out here, so I'm losing my stuff. So this is what you're gonna see. One of these guys, not this big, okay? It's not like coming down from the sky the size of an airplane, right? Or even a bird, it's pretty small. They've got those bright red eyes. They're a lot smaller, okay? And they've got the basic body parts of a insect, right? So three body parts. Um, head, thorax, abdomen, and they've got a, um, a uh, six pairs, six pairs, two, three pairs of legs, so six legs. I can't get my mind straight today. All right, so, and they are called a hemiptera, or a true bug. These are a true bug. Not every insect is a true bug. So what makes them a true bug? They have mouth parts which can suck things out. So out of another insect or out of a plant. So for a cicada, it's a plant. So the cicadas have a beak, or it's called a rostrum in cicadas instead of a beak like a bird, okay? They use to suck fluids out of a plant, like a tree, mostly for cicadas. And this is how they eat and drink, okay? So cicadas start their life cycle as a rice-shaped egg, and I'm gonna get this little chart here. So they start their life cycle as, think of little pieces of rice, Okay, so a rice-shaped egg, okay? And once the, oh, and the, fe well, the female deposits these, it's so bright out here, I can't tell what I'm doing in the camera. The female deposits these in little grooves of small tree limbs, which can affect the tree limb. But, um, so the groove provides shelter for the babies once they hatch and food. It exposes the fluid inside and then the babies can eat on the fluid. So once the baby hatches from the egg, okay, it begins to feed on the tree fluids. So then it looks like a termite, okay, or a small ant. So they're really clear, or kind of really white in color, and they look like little termites to me. That's what they look like. Um, so once the young cicada is ready, I have to cheat a little bit here, because there's a lot of stuff about cicadas I did not know. So once it's ready, it crawls out of the groove, falls to the ground, and then digs, digs in the ground, until it finds roots to feed on. So it moves from like roots of, of you know, grass. Let's see if I can find some grass roots. Not really, okay. So it feeds on roots from grass, all right, first. And then it'll move up to, 
to its host tree, okay? The cicada will stand to ground then for, uh, before it goes to its ho host tree though, for 17 years. So when that little termite looking thing falls to the ground, digs underground, it's down there for like 17 years. So the ones born now from the um, brood X, they're calling them, the brood X 17 year cicadas, so brood 10, once they're underground, they're gonna be underground for another 17 years. So the ones coming up now are the ones that went into the ground 17 years ago. They're not sleeping in there either. They're actually tunneling and looking for food, so eating. So they're moving around a lot. They are not hibernating. So after 17 years, the cicadas emerge from the ground as nymphs. That's when you guys find their shells. So for our cicadas that come every year, sometimes you'll find their, um, they're exoskeletons on the tree, pretty freaky looking. My son used to love to find those. But so the nymphs look like this, okay? Can we see it? I don't know. Okay, so the nymphs are like this. They're kind of a brownish, hollow shell when you find them. So these nymphs climb the nearest available vertical surface, hopefully a tree, you know, some kind of plant, all right? and begin to shed their exoskeleton. So then they, this is what it looks like. So they come out as this white creature, okay? This white form before they harden and get their colors and stuff. So they're coming out of this and they become an insect then after they leave that shell. So <clears throat> once their old skin is gone, their wings will inflate with fluid and their adult skin hardens, okay? Once their new body and their new wings are ready, then they can begin their very brief adult life. And I think it is like uh, two to four weeks, okay? So the adult cicadas spend their time in trees looking for a mate. That's what you hear. So a lot of times you're like, oh my gosh. So this could be a very deafening sound because they have a really loud sound. So. Usually we hear them and it's kind of pleasant. So this could be maybe not as pleasant when there's so many of them around. It might be a little annoying, but they don't live for very long. The males will sing, the females will respond, they mate, and the life cycle begins again until 17, and then 17 years from now, we'll see cicadas coming again. So when are they coming to us? Okay, that's what we wanna know, right? When are they coming to Ohio? So as of May 9th, so today's May 11th, the brood X had emerged in Maryland, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Virginia. Um, cool temperatures over this week, you know, it's pretty cool today, should slow the emergence. Now that snow that we had late did not affect them. Supposedly it insulates them. That's what my friend Gia said. She does a podcast with the nature guys and she said that actually insulates the cicadas. So thank you Gia for that information because I wondered but we should see them in the last two weeks of May. That is no guarantee. I'm getting all of this information from cicadamania.com. So it's a really great site to check out. There's some interactive things on there and there's some <clears throat> activity sheets for kids to do. And I also got some information from greatgardenplants.com on one of their blogs, okay? So we should be seeing them maybe the last two weeks of May. No, so should you freak out like all my plants are gonna die, they're gonna ruin all this stuff? No, you shouldn't, all right. So what can you do to get ready for the invasion, all right? It's not really an invasion though. They're not, um, this is what they do. This is their life cycle and they are native to Ohio. So believe it or not, cicadas are mostly beneficial. Yep, that's what I said, they're mostly helpful. They prune mature trees, aerate the soil, soil needs air to work, okay? They feed wildlife, a lot of wildlife eat them, and once they die, their bodies serve as an important source of nutrient for plant, nutrients for plants. And some people actually eat them. Now, am I gonna go collect some and fry them up? No, I am not, okay? Not super um, experimental on my food, okay? Now, mature plants don't suffer much damage, all right? even if they're covered with tons of cicadas, all right? Even if they're just covered, all right? However, young shrubs and trees may benefit from a little protection. So you can put a mosquito net on them, um, a very light curtain, like lightweight curtains, 
or other lightweight fabric and wrap them for their protection, okay? Very important, do not spray pesticides on your plants to prevent the cicadas. It won't wipe out the cicadas from your garden and it will just poison the birds, the possums, the snakes, um, raptors, and other animals that come to your property to eat, okay? So, and it's not gonna affect your cicadas. So, should we be nervous about these big-eyed insects that are coming in swarms? Not really. It may be a little annoying, but we'll get through it because they don't have a long life cycle and they can do a lot of good for the environment. There's a lot of, in, there's a lot of animals out there that are really going to benefit from these cicadas coming to a town near you and your backyard, okay? So maybe you'll get them, maybe not. You might want to ask somebody that was around your area 17 years ago to see how many might be coming. So again, I got my info, a lot of my information from cicadamania.com. It's a great website. I encourage you to go to that. There's even some cool t-shirts and mugs on their page with cicadas. And yes, I bought a t-shirt. So if the cicadas come out and I can see them really well, I'm going to do another video and show you my cool t-shirt. There's also a really great site, greatgardenplants.com. How, how do I protect my plants from cicadas? There's a, a part on their website for that. So that's where I went. So enjoy them. Get your kids outside to study them a little bit. You know, check them out. It's really cool. So it's a really, a, a, just a very unique insect to check out. And the birds have really added to my video today by singing in the background. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. All right, until next time. Good luck with the cicadas. Bye-bye.